Would you like to talk, sir? I'm I know Allah. You're taking him away, Bob. Yeah, it's okay, let him go. Yeah, and I don't know English well. It's okay. Allah Wahid. Yeah. Yeah, there's one God, I know. ولم يكن له كفوا أحد. Right. لما عندما عند when he as you say in the Christianity he has a son that means he has a has a wife. Right. He ha he he dies he lives he do what you are doing. Okay. But Allah is one. The 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 Jewish and the Christian in the Mecca they went to the Hamad they tell him please explain to us what was what Allah he told them Allah they نزلت آية قل هو الله أحد Allah is Samad, Lam Yelid, Walam Yulad, Walam Yakul Loku for Nahad. Okay, let me let me reply to that. Muhammad Muhammad said, if Allah had a son, I would be the first to worship him. Right? I would be a monk. Allah says to Muhammad, say that if Allah the Most Mighty had a son, that I would be the first to worship. You know that surah in the Quran? The ayah in the Quran. Yes? Okay, okay. Right. So let me ask you this question. But he's not. Let me ask you this question. Let me ask you this question. If Allah had a son, why would he be worthy of worship? What do you mean worship? In the mean in the way that Muhammad meant it. In the way that Allah meant no, it. No, Muhammad he doesn't. He no, Muhammad, I show you. Muhammad he say uh, he, he's, uh, he's, 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 he's one of the other. He is he dies. Oh he has anything. That's not is my that, question. No 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 That's not my question. Are you aware of the surah in the Quran where Allah says to Muhammad, say that if Allah had a son, I would be the first to worship. Are you aware of the but ayah? He's not. I'm not asking that. Mm. I'm asking firstly, are you aware of the ayah? I, I really, yes, I don't know what is the surah, but I know. But you know it. Do you know the surah? Right. Do you know Shall we find it? 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 Shall we, shall we have a conversation? What's your name? My name is Ahmed. Accurate. My name's Bob. Yes. Let's try to have a conversation. Yes, okay. So, so my question is, we both are aware of this passage in the Quran, correct? Yes. Right. So my question. We we, we believe. Well, yeah. Wait, wait, wait. I'm trying to ask. I'm trying to ask you a question, Ahmed. Ahmed, I'm trying to ask you a question. So my question is, Ahmed. If Allah had a son, if he had a son, I'm not saying he does have a son. Yes. I'm saying if he had a son, why would he be worthy of worship? Why? Can you find it for us? Just, just Google if Allah. يا أهل الكتاب تعالوا إلى كلمة السواء بيننا منا. That's why he says that. Okay, right. يا أهل الكتاب تعالوا إلى كلمة السواء. Right. In the sense of possibility. Yes. So, so you what you're saying it's a hyperbole statement to try and demonstrate the opposite. Yes. Okay. So, however, 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 I let let's for a moment and please explain this to him. Because I see that you're operating as a truck. What's your name, sister? Nada. Nada. Nice to meet you, Nada. If if Allah is talking about a hypothetical world that doesn't exist in the Islamic worldview, I get that. But he's talking about he's making a statement that if that 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 sun did exist in this hypothetical world, demonstrating that it can't exist. But if it did exist, that son would be worthy of worship. I want to know why Allah thinks a son of his would be worthy of worship. That's in Arabic. What is the surah? The one that we're looking for. Chapter 43. There you go. 40. 4381, thank you. The Bible and the Bible and the Jewish, when he came, the message he came, it was the same like Islam, but it was distorted by the Bible, by the worship, by the Yaladin, the Wuro, Ugayero, and Islam intact. Rubban Hafuzu, I feel Quran, 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 Mahfuz, 
Here, let me give you something. I'm, I'm in a conversation, bro. Right, so let, let, what, what was his reply to my question? So, so my, my, my point is, my point is, I, I disagree with your idea that Muhammad came with the same message of Jesus and, and came with, he didn't, no, it's not, it's not. But it's it was, not. It was changed. No. The Jewish no, Muhammad changed it. No, no, no. Muhammad changed it. And, 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 and the, no, the, Muhammad the, changed it. The changed. Ahmed changed. Muhammad changed it. Changed. No, no, no. Yes, I'll tell you why. Changed. The religion of Moses changed. and the religion of Jesus. It's Muhammad changed it. When when Moses worshipped, when Moses worshipped, did he worship in a temple? Did he worship with a tabernacle? No, 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 no. He worshipped with a tabernacle. A tabernacle is the Ark of the Covenant. It's the presence of God amongst the Jewish people. And that Ark of the Covenant was in a tent of meeting and the, the Jews would worship in the direction of the tent of meeting. Then when that Ark was moved into a temple, the Jews worshipped at the temple because the temple was the place where God met his people. There's no temple in Islam. No. When Moses direct, worshipped, direct, direct. His, his, heart, his brother was a priest, a Levitical priest. And Jesus, when he went to the temple, he went to participate with the priests in the temple. So Moses worshipped in the temple with priests, and David worshipped in the temple with priests, and Jesus worshipped in the temple with priests, and Isaiah worshipped in the temple with priests, and Zacharias worshipped in the temple with priests, but Muhammad didn't. No priests, no sacrifice, no temple. It's Muhammad that changed the religion. Not Moses, not Jesus, not any of the other prophets. Muhammad has a different religion to the prophets of Israel. Do you want to explain this to him? I understand, I understand. As he says he understands. Know, as far okay. as I know, Allah he, he doesn't, uh, he doesn't, he hasn't a wife, he hasn't uh, kids, he hasn't uh, 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 children, children, having uh, this is a God. The God. The God, they have a son, that means he has a wife, he has a sister, he has a cousin, he has something to counter with him, he has a neighbor. This is illogical. This is illogical. No, this is illogical. 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 Let me explain to you why it is illogical. Saying that Allah is one makes you no better than the devil. Does he bliss believe in Allah? Yeah. Does he does he bliss believe in Allah? Of course. Does he bliss believe in one God? When he asked him to pray, he didn't pray. Yeah, but that's not my question. Does he bliss believe in one God? Definitely. Right. So believing in one God makes you no better than he bliss. The, the, the point is, if, if a bliss believes in one God yes. and, and you believe in one God, you're no better than the devil. You're no better than Iblis. But as Christians, but as Christians, but as Christians, there's nothing special about believing in one God. The devil believes in one God. The point is to have, the point is, the point is to be in the right worship and the right service of that one God. And a Muslim cannot achieve this by following the example of Muhammad. Amen. You cannot, you cannot achieve right worship. Did Cain and Abel? When Cain and Abel? You know Cain and Abel? Yeah. Children of Adam. Yeah. Cain and Abel, the children of Adam. They both offered sacrifices to Allah, didn't they? Yes. And Allah accepted one sacrifice and rejected the other sacrifice. Yes. So unless you worship God in the right way, God will not accept your salat. Absolutely. And you, as Muslims, you don't. Don't worship Allah Messiah. in the right way. God did, my feet. Did the prophets, did the prophets of Israel call the God of Israel I Father? Messiah. Did the God of did the prophets of Israel address their God as Father? No. Yes. 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 All of them. And did Jesus call God Father? That's all lies. Do Muslims call God Father? That's all lies. No. So you are not no. worshipping no. God no. in the right way. You are, a, you are worshipping Satan. He doesn't born, he doesn't have children. And does the devil believe this? Does the devil believe this? There is no devil. Devil was there. There is no Satan. It's all lies. No, it was angel before. Yes, but does he, he actually know? Yes, not according yes, to Islam. Uh, no, no, no. He, he, That's a Christian yes, belief. He, no, actually, 
دي هي اكشلي تم تتقدم عن حوا في دي في دي كيس ان ذا جاد ان ذا ايت فروم ذا تري ان ذا جيت اوت اوف ذا اوف ذا اوف ذا اوف ذا من الكلمة حبيبي جيس انجل ولا ما انجل؟ لا هو واز هي واز بيفور هي واز بيفور He was before anger, but he was converted. But that you haven't you haven't listened to my point, Ahmed. Cain and Abel both worshipped Allah. Yes. But Allah rejected one and accepted the other. Yes. Yes. Therefore, you have to worship Allah in the right way, and you have to serve Him in the right way. Yes. All of the prophets, from Moses to Jesus, they all called Allah Father. Yes. They all addressed Allah as Father. They worshipped in a temple. They worship with priests. They worship with sacrifices. Muslims have none of these things. Allah will not accept your worship. Allah will not accept your worship. The religious are the same. It was changed. By Muhammad. Yes, by Muhammad. By the follower. By the follower. By the follower. They came later on and they changed it. So, madam, let me let me address your point. I I I I agree. I agree, madam. That in your religion. Wait, wait, wait. I want to. So, one second, one second. No, I'm one to one, one. So, I I agree with you in the Islamic perspective. You do not know what Allah will accept and what Allah will not accept. But as a Christian, we don't have this uncertainty. As a Christian, we know that the Father hears our prayers not because we are meritorious, not because we deserve it, but because Jesus Christ has earned it. Because Jesus Christ deserves it, and Jesus Christ is our priest who who speaks before the Father for us as our only intermediary. And if we address the Father through His Son Jesus Christ. By the work of the Holy Spirit, then our prayers are acceptable to God. So you're saying because we don't have intermediaries, then I tell you, because you don't. I so you, what I'm saying is, is because you don't have Jesus Christ as the intermediary, you your prayers cannot be heard. We don't have anybody as intermediary. I tell you something. As Christians, we believe. In your, in no, I'm talking to. Uh, no, uh, even Muhammad is uh, our intermediary. I accept, and that is why, and that is why your prayers cannot be accepted. But as a Christian, we believe that your at your press. We can. Yes, we can. Yes, we can. Because Jesus gives us this promise. To prove, to prove, to prove to you. To prove to you. No, I can only say this if God says this. I, 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 I. God won't accept your prayer. God won't accept your sacrifices. No, 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 no. That means what are you saying? So let. Do you want me to show you? You're saying that God is in me. I tell you something. So allow me to reply. To down, allow to me to reply your point. Yeah. So in terms of in terms of the Holy so Spirit, yeah. we as Christians believe that when we accept Jesus Christ, God gives us His Spirit, and the Holy Spirit is the one that prays, that gives the prayers, the one that inspires the prayers, that makes the prayers valid, and those prayers are given to the Father through Jesus Christ the Son. All of it is the work of God. It is not our work. All of it is God's work. God is achieving it all. God is doing it all, and it is because it is God's work that it is acceptable. It is not our work, and that is why there is this difference between Islam and Christianity. Because as Christians, and it, I'm not saying this because I say it. I'm saying this because the Bible says it. The, the the prophets and the apostles teach us this. It's on their authority. I'm saying it. If I was making it up, you would be right to say I'm wrong. But I'm basing my statements on what the Bible says, and the Bible is trustworthy and true. I'm asking you. Could I ask you? Yeah, go on. The Christianity say the Jews was killed by the Jews. Yes or not? Jesus was killed by the Jews. By the Jews and was for the crusade. Am I right or wrong? So I'm going to answer your question. It is killed by the. Sorry, wait, 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 wait. Were you asking a question? 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 He came. Were you asking a question? How does it come? Okay, you don't want to hear the answer. You don't want to hear the answer. You asked a question. Yes, yes. So, if you want to ask a question, you should listen to the answer. Yes, please. Okay. So the statement the, the, to the statement: Does the Bible teach that the Jews killed Jesus? Yes. The Bible teaches that at the lifetime of Jesus, the the Jewish leadership and the Jewish people conspired to kill Jesus in Jerusalem. Yes. That is the sin that they have committed. Yes. However, the fact that Jesus Christ was crucified and died on a cross disproves Islam, because the Quran says Jesus didn't die on a cross, yes. and if he did die on a cross. If he did die on a cross, 
then that means Islam is false. And all the evidence shows that he died on a cross. The Quran says this seven centuries later. It says it in a different country. And it says, and it, right, well, think about this. You say Allah took Jesus to himself, yes? Yes, yes. Where is Allah? We don't see Allah Where? controlling everything. You, you is are, Allah above his throne? You are, you, 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 your spirit. Wait, in Islam, in where, anywhere, where, anywhere where, wait, wait, wait. Allah. Let's try and have a conversation. Listen to the question I'm asking you. Yes. In Islam, where is Allah? Allah, anywhere. Okay. Anywhere in the air. Is, is, in the nature, is, in Jesus, is Jesus with Allah? So is Jesus everywhere? The Jews say no. It was no, I'm not Abraham. asking about the Jews. I'm asking about we, you. Say, Uncle, yes. I'm asking your belief. Yes. We believe in Allah. Right. He's with Allah. Where is Allah? We don't see. Where is Allah? Up, 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 up our, we don't know. Oh, you don't know. Is Jesus with him? Yes. So is Jesus now with Allah above the throne? Yes. Yes. So Jesus is equal to Allah. Uh, no. Where is Allah? Allah folk. He's above the throne, right? Uh, all of the prophets are there. No, they're not. Oh, Only show me. Adam, Hinaka, Adam is dead. Muhammad is dead. Nowhere is dead. All of the prophets are dead. Only Jesus is with Allah. All of them, all the prophets. Only Jesus is with Allah. Only Jesus is with Allah. Any shaheed, any Which are the prophet? Any shaheed, Which are the prophet? Not only is. Okay. So the the point is, in Islam, you believe Muhammad is dead. You, Muhammad is dead, right? Yes. You can visit his grave. Yes, he says that. Abraham is dead. Yes. You can visit his grave. Lot is dead. You can visit his grave. Is Jesus dead? Okay. All of the other prophets, they're in the ground. Is Jesus in the ground? No. No. Allah says, I will take you to myself. Where is Allah? Right. Allah is above his throne according to the Quran. Yeah? So where is Jesus? Above the throne of Allah. How can a prophet be above the throne of Allah? Jesus. The throne of Allah is the sovereignty of Allah. Yeah. So if Isa is above the throne, Allah going above his throne is saying that Allah is superior, even above everything. He is supreme. If Jesus is now with Allah above the throne of Allah, then Jesus is also supreme. Sayyidna, 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 Sayyidna. Not necessarily. Actually, that makes sense. Not necessarily. Go on, madam, what's your reply? I can't see the sense of this. Actually, actually, a Quran, Quran say, Adam, Adam, like Isa. He, he is, he's, he's from, from Allah, uh, he, 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 uh, creating from nothing. Okay. But here's the problem with this. Here's the problem with this. Firstly, we Christians reject this idea. That is not a Christian belief. Christ is eternal. Christ created Adam in our belief. That's that's what happens. Christ crea cre Christ created Adam in our belief. However, even in the Quran, even in the Quran, this is problematic because it says in the Quran that Isa is a word from Allah and a spirit from Allah. Well, is, is Allah ever without his word? No. So that means if Isa is a word from Allah and Allah always has his word, then that means Isa is eternal. Do you see? If Allah always has his word, and the Quran says Isa is a word from Allah, then that means that Jesus is eternal. No other prophet is like this. No eternity. No. No, no other prophet is like no this. In Islam, we, no, we have no eternity in Islam. We, in Islam, we have no eternity. And, and how, Even for Allah? I, I, want, I want to love for Allah. I do what to do. I am not a religion man. I am not a religion man. So you need a religious man to talk with. He could convince you. I am not. I tell Please, you something. I bring tell one. You something. No, I tell you something. I tell you something. How many Christians convert to Islam every year? Or how many Muslims convert to Actually, Christian actually, Christian? I'm helping Christians who are, have left Muslim families right now. Right now, I'm helping Christians.